He was born in the Congo in like the early big dick. And the way was yo, you yes, yeah. <laughs> yo. So he was based. They they looked at him as like Black Jesus, bro. Mm-hmm. So he was born in the Congo so in the nineteen hundreds. Dropping it off, bro. They probably they ain't know what to do with that. It was like what, what this? Yeah, it's meat. They probably had the biggest meat. <laughs> yo, had the biggest meat in the land, bro. They was like they ain't know what to do with that. He probably was fucking all the bitches, bro. I hope not. Dropping it off, bro. They probably like this nigga gotta be God, bro. I've never <laughs> seen something this big before. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, my bad. Nah, go ahead. Go, go, go. No, no, no. I, I, folded, oh, I, folded, I folded already. I folded already. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to the No Regular. <laughs> no you know, this man don't even know. What the hell? Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to No Regular Podcast, hosted by DW and Corey Petty. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> He's really dry. <laughs> I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Regular Podcast, episode number 143. Damn. One. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius, and I'm here with my co-host, KP, in the building, you know what I'm saying? DW, KP, you know how it is, we be part of Alphabet. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff, all the links down below. But we starting the episode off early, people. We got a lot of things to talk about. We're talking about hood classics. We got a couple games to play at the end. But first thing that we're going to talk about, me and Corey watched, we went on a date yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> He's so gay. We low key did, bro. Me and Corey he fell asleep too, bro. I think I fell asleep on our date, bro. I know. Bad first date, but I was tired <laughs> after work. But we we went. I have work in the basketball game. What is he talking about, bro? But I, you're not working with kids, though. You're I'm working with dogs. What's the difference? They don't talk and be like, they I want to play in the game right now. <laughs> Shout out to my campers, though. Because this is the last, last day tomorrow. Shout out to my campers, bro. My boy Cameron, my dog. But yeah, nah, you don't have kids that's playing like I want to play every game. I nah. got dogs that want to play all all day, bro. Nah, you can't, but you, you, you can, can't tell them stop playing because they don't know what that means. No, you can put the dog in a cage and leave him alone. I don't. You don't do that at my job. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that at my job, bro. I, I wish I could do that. We don't. We don't put our dogs in, in cages on our job, bro. <laughs> Oh, oh, kennels. That's what they we call them. We don't put them in kennels either. That's what bro. they call them. We have the... rooms. Oh, rooms. Okay. We have rooms for them. And rooms put... with metal bars. No, there's no bars in the room. It's a room just like this. Rooms with a wooden door, no windows. It's a metal door. Actually. It's dark as hell. It's a metal, even... it's oh, a metal it's even door. worse. <laughs> it's a dungeon. <laughs> but yeah, so we went on a date yesterday. Jay was with us. So it was a triple date. And we went to watch I was, Deadpool. I was third wheeling for real. <laughs> Honestly, you was there by Dola. I, me and I was, Jay were him, knocked Jay was out. knocked out. I was really just watching the movie by myself. Okay, it's because me and Jay watched the movie already. So, but I wanted Corey to watch it so we could talk about it on the podcast. So, how do you like Deadpool versus Wolver- oh and Wolverine? How did you like the movie? I didn't not enjoy it. So it was like eh. It was eh. Like I like let's say it was the first Deadpool movie, right? Yeah. I would have been like, okay, that was cool. Compared to the other two, it was mid. You but, think so? But I enjoyed it though. Oh, okay. But it like I wasn't like I didn't leave the theater like yo that was a great fucking movie. Really? I left the theater I was like I enjoyed it, but it could have been better. See, okay, the first time I watched it, I I ain't gonna lie, I really liked it. First time you ain't watch it. The second time, yeah, I know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I was watching <laughs> in spurts. I didn't even know I fell asleep. I would wake up like, damn. Is it, so they already mean, fighting? First, first time you watched it, you ain't watch it twice. <laughs> <You see? laughs> this guy's sick. I thought you. I thought you fell asleep. I don't know, nigga. I wanted to see what's going on. Bro. <laughs> but see, Deadpool, right? Oh, spoiler alert for anybody for watching, nap. though. Huh? <laughs> you paid for a nap. <laughs> nah, I, 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 have, I have movie credits. <laughs> oh, I. <all> right. <laughs> <laughs> but for the people that that didn't watch Deadpool, we're gonna put the timestamp that right here down below of when we're not talking about Deadpool. But yeah. I thought it was. I'll give it like a solid. Like I at first, I gave it. I gave it like a a nine and a half. But now I'm gonna bring it down. I was like that was like first day hype. Mm-hmm. I'll bring it down to like eight and a half. I'll bring it down one because seven and a half for me. Because I just think it's a better movie than the last couple movies like that that it came out. The like, last two Deadpool's? No, no, not Deadpool's. Oh. I'm talking about like a. The MCU movies. Oh yeah, okay, I agree. Like it was, it's better than the Doctor Strange movie. It's definitely better than the the Ant Man movie. Oh that yeah, that movie was trash. Was that was so bad. mid. That bro. was bad. That was bad. I was so mad, bro. That was bad. The, I I I was disappointed in Ant Man. I'm like, what is this? And uh, but I like how I like what they, I wasn't that disappointed in Doctor Doctor Strange though. No, I was mad because it was supposed to be multiverse, and there was supposed to be like characters that's supposed to be like you know in the multiverse, like the the Illuminati, and they died in two minutes. 
Yeah, I didn't like that. I'm either. like, you got it. I also didn't me. like that uh, that uh, Human Torch died so fast. Oh yeah, no, but I feel like, like they could they, they could have packed him up. They didn't have to kill him though. I knew they was gonna kill him though. Just uh, just off the rip of how he was and how he almost got cooked in the beginning where uh -huh. he almost, I thought he broke his neck and died already. Yeah, I knew he was gonna get cooked. But when he came out, I was like, hold the fuck up. I, I, he cooked me. I thought it was really you captain. Was yeah, I did, bro. I, I got cooked. I forgot he was a I human mean, torch. I would have got cooked. Like, I, I seen I seen that part. Oh, in the thing? No, I seen that part on Twitter before. I, oh, okay. Before okay. I seen the movie. But I would have got cooked. I would have I would have, I would have known that was that wasn't cat. So was there any was there any surprises for you? Like, were you like, oh, damn, that's OD? Blade would have been a surprise if, if I didn't see it on Twitter. Okay, okay. Electra, elect, uh, Electra was a, it was Electra? a surprise. Electra, yeah. Yeah, she was a surprise. I okay. Didn't, when she popped out, I knew exactly who she was. How about uh, Gambit? I'm seeing it on Twitter. Oh, you seen it on Twitter too? Dang, that's yeah. crazy. See, I'm glad I watched the first day. I'll be pissed. But when I seen that, I was like, nah, this is OD. But I like what they're doing. It's like this is like a, a goodbye to the Fox film. Like that's what I was telling you. Yeah, about. that was a good. That was a good goodbye. Because they made like a lot of jokes about it, and they're literally mm -hmm. like, because you know, like I said, X, like X Men and all the movies like Deadpool, like they they weren't the MCU. Like that was like all Fox. But like this is the year where the contract is up now. Mm -hmm. So now they can get now uh, Marvel can now use those characters in their movies. Yeah. So now this is like the I think intro. they should start. I think they should start over. You think? Wait, with start X, with what? With, with X Men, I think they should start. Like I think that's what they're gonna do. I think they're gonna start in like. A, I mean, you did you see what what's coming up next? They're doing Fantastic Four. Yeah, I know. That's so, what I'm saying. They started over Fantastic Four, but it's not gonna like. They should do a new wave. Like you know how they started with the uh, MCU when they started like first Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. They should do a, a new wave of starting over like. I know what you mean. I think that's what they're doing with Deadpool. I think this. I think the Deadpool movie was like the start of like the new wave of like they're because the next phase is like the mutant phase. That's what they're uh -huh. calling it. So they're gonna add more of like X Men into it. Because I'm not gonna lie, like they're not using Sp Spider Man's cool. I like Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Thor, I think Thor kept his role. Blade, I know Blade. I like. I like Blade the, is different. I like the. I like the the joke that. Uh, he said, "Like nobody could play, play me. blade, and yeah, only one, it's only been one blade." And then <laughs> Deadpool was like, "We already <laughs> casted your man." <laughs> so that's like, I think we need more new heroes because if you if Iron Man's not coming back, mm -hmm. Cap's not coming back, yeah, I packed up Hulk for whatever reason. I don't know yeah. why the Hulk don't have his something with. I don't know why the Hulk can't get his own movie. It's something with something. Somebody owns the Hulk. Yeah, Remember yeah. we were talking about something yesterday? He was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. somebody owns the Hulk still. Mm -hmm. That he can't have his own movie. He can only cameo. Because you know the only incredible, the only Hulk movie was that one that came out in like 2008. Well, that Incredible Hulk movie. Well, in the one that before that, that was like mid. Yeah. Uh, wait, there was an actual like a Hulk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember that one. That one was really bad. Mm -hmm. But yeah, those are the only ones. I don't know if that's Fox or like Sony. It's something. That they can't really get their hands. I, yeah, on. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is why they can't make new Hulk movies. Because imagine Hulk in the MCU, like with their type of graphic, mm -hmm. that'll be OD. Like, I mean, I I like the next Captain America movie coming out though. I ain't gonna lie. No, I'm not. I don't, I, bro. I don't want to see the Falcon as Captain America. I know, bro. but like that's how it was in the comics, though. I think. I don't care. I don't want to see. I don't uh, like first, Falcon I, either, bro. I just don't I like Anthony Falcon. Mackie either. Bro. I don't either. I don't want to see him with his that yeah. dumbass face that. He does that face every time. I know, I know. Fucking bro. hate it, bro. I don't like Falcon. I don't like Anthony Mackie either. But it's just like, you know, I feel like it's going to have a good story. Because Captain America movies have been pretty good. Like I have, the storyline. I, I haven't watched I haven't watched any Falcon in the winter, so I haven't watched No, no, I've never watched that one either. I haven't watched that if one it's just If it's been Falcon, I haven't watched it. But, no, but, who, but like, and like, that's what I'm saying. Like, who wants to watch that? I think there's, it's, it's, bring in, it's a wave of bringing in new heroes. Bring, bring in the X-Men. You got Deadpool, I, like as as much as I love Hugh Jackman, you He's, might you might have to recast him. That's what they, they start said. over, bro. Start over. New. You seen they put it in the movie? They put uh the dude like the uh in the Henry Cavill. Yeah, he uh -huh. might be he might be Wolverine. He's too old. I know. I heard you. You need, you need, you need cast him. You know what they need? That you don't watch Game of Fucking Thrones. They need to cast Kit Harrington for Wolverine. That'll be perfect. What was his name? Let me look it up. Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington. Kit. Yeah. Him. I know. Uh, oh, uh, oh, him. Mm -hmm. He actually looks like a pretty good Wolverine. He'd but be he perfect for Wolverine. He need to get Ock though. He could get Ock. You see him in Game of Thrones? He was Ock. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. Uh, I can see I, it a little I bit. I know. I know Aaron Taylor Johnson. He's playing. Uh, what's that villain from Spider Man? Uh, Craven. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's playing Craven. He got he playing Craven in the movie. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that movie's gonna be. I mean, he was he was Quicksilver. He was Quicksilver. Yeah, well, Quicksilver died easily, so. But that's what I'm saying. I mean, oh, Craven coming out soon too. Craven coming out in it like is. November, October. Oh, really? I'm gonna watch that. Yeah. Just got like the actor. Oh, really? Yeah, I like I like it. Uh, and where is he from? Kick ass. Oh yeah, he was. Kick ass. He was. Hey, that's tough, bro. That's what I'm saying. I think it's, but I think that's what it is. I think it's a, it's a wave of new heroes. You got the Fantastic Four coming in. Shit, like it's just so it's so f- not fucked up, but like it's so like because the in like the the good heroes are like that phase is over. You can't start over with Iron Man. Yeah, you can't. You can't start over with Cap. Because mm-hmm. low key start over. You can't really start over with Hulk, even though you you can't. You should, but you can't start over with Hulk. Like the core heroes is done. That's like, I know. and that's how that, and that's who you kind of need to like interrogate the story if you're mm-hmm. gonna start over. That's why I think now they're gonna like. I feel like they they planned all this on purpose, bro. So now this next phase is going. They're gonna do more of X Men. So they're gonna introduce more of like new cast of X Men, mm-hmm. and then they're gonna you know throw a they sprinkling sh- with Thor. In they there. should yeah. They should just recap like do like I mean start over with X Men. You still got Spider Man. Yeah, you still got you still got Thor. Man, Cap, because I need to come back, bro. As he's not, Cap, he's not gonna come back. He, he, he should though. I know, he's but not. He's, they're literally old. Like Tony Stark is the. You seen he's gonna be Doctor Doom? He looks so old though. I know, but I mean Doctor Doom is like a pretty older. We're dude. Talking about like he can't be Iron Man again, bro. He's I know he's not gonna be Iron fuck, Man, bro. but I think he's gonna be. I think he's gonna be a variant of Iron Man that turned into Doctor. That Doom. turned into Doctor Doom. Yeah, I heard that. I, so, I heard that too. So maybe that might work out. But I just like how. Like I feel like this this is all planned out, but like they was really waiting for this. Like they knew like the, the Kang Dynasty thing. I feel like that wasn't always gonna work out because it was like where how are you gonna implement I didn't even X-Men? know who, I didn't even know who Kane was. That's bro, what I'm saying. Before that shit, bro. it was just so weird. Like I feel like they didn't really like that was just a little stretch. But like now, mm-hmm. Doctor Doom, like it's literally perfect. They literally line up perfect now. Now they can add, like like you said, the Fantastic Four. They can add in start the X Men. Start Black start Panther, over. bro. Like that's gonna be hard. R. though. R. I. P. Chadwick Boseman. Put those movies to the side. Start over, bro. That's gonna be hard, though. I know, but like it's just gonna have to be one random cameo, like like a new Black Panther from another universe, like a multiverse a new, a new T'Challa. In. Yeah, another, another T'Challa, something like that. I, I need T'Challa, bro. I'm sorry, I, I don't want I don't want his son, bro. That might not be a son. Might be a sister. I don't want his sister, bro. Yeah, so that's what it might. I want T'Challa, bro. I know it sucks, bro. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of MCU like heroes that really can't get recasted. Like, there's a lot of Marvel heroes that can't get recasted. I'm not gonna lie though. Another which they 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 would never do. Well, a good option would probably be like shut it down for like ten years, start over. Nah, there's no way they can't. They can't. That's so much bread they're losing. They just they they. I'm ha- saying they'll never do it. Yeah, but you think so? But like that'd be another like I right, it's phased out. Start yeah. over, do a different story. But you don't think them starting over with X Men is like better? That could be that could be it too. So I'm saying like with the Iron Man and the Caps and stuff. Yeah, it died down. Let him let him like let it go. Don't mm-hmm. even mention them no more. Let it go. Yeah, about ten years, bro. I, like, Start over. Did you see the next? Do you know what the next movies are gonna be? Like, did you like hear about it? I know, no. Because I know, so it's so this is how it's gonna be. It's gonna be fantastic. For, so it's gonna be Craven, and then there's gonna be the Captain America movie, mm-hmm. and then after Captain America, which I'm not watching. <laughs> I mean, I like the Red Hulk. I, it might be good. It might be good. Having low expectations will be good going into that movie. Mm-hmm. Then it's gonna be, I think, Fantastic Four, and then it's going to be. I forgot what it is. There's a movie. Oh, Thunderbolts. You know what Thunderbolts is? It's like, it's like the the Suicide Squad of Marvel. So think about. I'm not interested. I heard it. I yo. I mm-hmm. heard it's not that bad. I, and then it's gonna be Spider Man Four, with okay. them. And then I heard Daredevil might be in that one. I think I, they already hinted that in No Way yeah. Home. So. so Daredevil's gonna be like, like it's so many. We got so many heroes they have, bro. I know. Luke Cage, like, bro. Start yeah. over, bro, with heroes that niggas fuck with, bro. Like Not Iron Man? The Eternals, bro. Oh, Look. yeah, no, that was crazy. What was the Nobody other, cared what about What was that. the other one? Shanghai, bro, whatever. Sh- Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi is actually not that bad, I heard. Who gives a fuck about Shang-Chi? But I think more people... Maybe you. Because I'm Asian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's racist. But I don't know. I think... I never watched Shang-Chi, but I heard a lot of people like Shang-Chi. Because I never he, heard of him until the movie came out. He taught Spider-Man how to freaking fight. 
<laughs> fuck? I never heard. I, ew, I only heard about all the stuff after the movie came out. I really didn't know about him either. That's what. That's like the super nerds. You know, they got. They I'm have not to. Not a super nerd, bro. But you know, they casual, have to. Casual, bro. They have to like appeal to the the super fans, bro. I'm a casual, bro. I know we're casual dudes, bro. But there's I people watch that the cartoons. There's bro. people I didn't that read the comments. Equi- there's probably people comments, that love comics. Ex- there's probably people that love the etern- uh, the Eternals, but I don't. Like, I never even watched. I heard it was mid. I heard it was like so like unnecessary. Like it was like a filler. I movie. watched. I watched it just because it was a couple actors in there that I liked. It was so bad. But I heard it was. Like, like, it was so bad. I can't even tell you what happened in the. That's movie. what I'm saying. I heard it was like two and a half hours of just nothing. I like, can't tell you what happened. Like in the about movie. characters that nobody cares about. Like I'm trying to think another pointless super superhero. She Hulk. Man, they could have made. They could have did She Hulk so good, but they just did it so bad because they wanted. Let me not even say it, bro. Hey, man. But I do you like the direction that the MCU is no. going in right now? You don't like it. You think it's going downhill still? I mean, I gotta see what they're doing with X Men. Okay, okay. I like Fantastic Four coming back out. Mm-hmm. Those original movies were bangers. I don't care what anybody say. Yeah, Jessica, J- Jessica oh. Alba, oh, fucking uh, Chris Evans. When Michael B. Jordan was Human Torch, that was mid. That, that was, was mid. so bad. So mid. So mid. I don't know what I'm they so, were doing. I'm with so that one. I'm so glad they didn't do a sequel. So I don't know mid. what they were doing with that. Didn't they go? I just, I just watched it the other day too. Didn't they so go back bad, and like bro. they went into like another dimension or something? Like what were they scientists? There was it was something so weird. They, yeah, they went to like a different not dimension, but like a different like world. Like, different world, like the moon or something, but it wasn't the moon. It yeah. was like a different like and then that's how they got their powers. Yeah, yeah. Because the the world or whatever had like the, the radiation gave off gave yeah, their yeah. powers. Mm-hmm. And yep. then Doctor Doom got stuck in that world. And then once they came back for Doctor Doom or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Back oh, because he was like the lead doctor and he went out there with them and they mm-hmm. left them behind. Mm-hmm. I do remember that. So mid. It was. It could have been so much better, but it's so mid, bro. No, it was so bad. Bro. I for, I be forgetting Michael B. Jordan was Human Torch for real, bro. That was bad. Hey, Amen. And they, then he was adopt. No, he was. He was. His real father, and then the Invisible Woman was adopted or something mm-hmm. like. It was just stupid, bro. Bad they, had, writing. they had to make that excuse because one was black and one was white, so clearly they're not siblings. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey bro, they make that been crazy. They said the black guys adopted too, so they they flipped it around. I think they said the black one was adopted. Oh, they right? said he was adopted. I thought no, the girl was adopted. I think the girl was adopted. Yeah, yeah. So they didn't say the black one was adopted because oh. you know stereotypes. So they made sure he wasn't adopted. But hey, I just think right, there's certain characters. That's gonna be really hard for us to like see as like different people. Like one Iron Man, I think we can see another Captain America. Eh, probably not. Probably not. I don't think I so. I like Chris Evans. I like Chris Captain. Evans also. Wolverine, Deadpool. So Wolverine, Deadpool. I, don't, I, think, I think Hugh Jack- locks, bro. I think Hugh Jackman's in there for a little bit. I think he got. I don't, a couple- I don't think he. I, I think he's done for real. You think so? I think, I think I, he maybe. I got think two I more. think he came back and I think he's finished. Really? I thought when they killed. I thought when they killed them off. And mm-hmm. Logan, that was a perfect like. All right, he's done. They like, were gonna but find. Now you think he should come back? Now, because... yeah, but now he can't. He gotta come back now, mm-hmm. especially in the movie. He's like, yo, in the Ryan Reynolds, like, yeah, we, I got you for another ninety years. To your ninety eight. To your ninety eight. So I mean, I give, I give him Hugh Jackman maybe to two thousand. Old, he even looked old in the movie. How old is he? Like twenty? He's like, is he fifty? He gotta be fifty. Let me see. Let me see how old Hugh Jackman is. But he looked old in the movie though. Nah, he didn't look old because he looked Jack still. That's what I'm saying. But that like, could be special effects. No, no, I think he is. He do got the muscles though. 55, 55. Dang, now nah, he can't go to sixty. He saying, got three bro. years max. Fifty five. I ain't gonna lie, he look good for fifty five though. Like he's sixty max, bro. You can't. He can't be sixty five playing Wolverine. Still, I know. Bro. I know. That sucks though. Like he. That's what I'm saying. Like F- Fox having them really just like messed up everything. Like if imagine MCU would have had the X Men from the jump, bro. from the jump it would be crazy, bro. Oh, I heard in one of the I think in Secret Wars they're gonna do X Men versus Avengers, so that's that might be how they bring it back and kill them off. That's that's what they were, that's why they were saying like in the beginning of the movie they like Thor was holding Deadpool. Uh huh. Maybe that's when the X Men was fighting uh the <laughs> Avengers. So they never know, bro. You never know. But who was Thor? Who was Thor crying about? That was funny too. That's what I'm saying. Yo, there, there was a lot of funny parts in the movie. As I said, it wasn't a bad movie. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I I expected 
You expect more for little, Deadpool? I expect it a little better. I just think, you know, it was... It started a, off so good, too, with the dancing and... Yeah. <clears throat> it was more of a cameo fest than a yeah. Deadpool movie, which I understand because they're trying to... Multiverse bring, it, yeah. They're trying to bring them into the MCU, so I wasn't really mad at that. Mm. If it was like... If that was like the first movie... If that was like maybe like the second movie where like they're not really going into the MCU yet, but they're just trying to like... like work their way in. I would have mm-hmm. been like, yo, that's kind of crazy. Like, why you keep, like, spamming these, like, new characters in? But, like, I I really didn't mind it. Like, usually I don't like all that stuff. Like, it's like all, like, I want Deadpool wanted... 2 was so good, bro. Yeah, that was a good movie. That was a good storyline. When he would try to kill that little fat kid, that was crazy, bro. But, nah, I, I just think, I like the direction. Just because the other movies were pretty bad. Like, this was the, the first, this was the, the best movie since, like, No Way Home, low-key. When No Way Home came out in 2019, right? No. No Way Home? Yeah, the one with uh, the... Well, la- three of them? Yeah, when did that come out? 2022. 2022? Okay, this is the best one since then. It's been I so agree. mid lately. Probably the only one I've seen since then. Yeah. Probably. I hope they make a Wolverine versus um Hulk, Hulk. movie. They could do so much, man. They could do so much. That would be so good, bro. That would be so good. I want to watch the cartoon, but I can't freaking find it nowhere. But, yo... uh. Speaking of this, bro, I want to tell you a story that your old boss told you told me the other day, bro. <laughs> your old boss Leonard, bro, he owe me money still, bro. Let the people know, so just in case they use this investigation, he fired me unjustly, bro. I need my money. How much does he owe you? Like forty hours. Forty hours times fifteen. That's what. That was eleven at the time, but. Damn. Oh yeah, I forgot. You get paid fifteen now. Yeah, it's like That's fifteen. Tough. It it's was like, like eleven. <laughs> I think it was like thirteen. Actually, I don't know. No, no, that. it was definitely thirteen. It was not because it went up fifty cents every year. It was thirteen then. Yeah, so it's like fourteen, fifteen now. So it was thirteen. Thirteen dollars. So it was like thirteen times Man, forty. That, shit. That That's like four. That's like five hundred, bro. I get paid fifteen now. That shit, Collins. I've been all right. Bro. Yeah, I'm saying, bro, inflation going up, bro, but the price is going at the same time. But he was telling me this one story. About a man who was like the real life Wolverine, right? Mm-hmm. So his name was Simeon Toku, and he was basically like a human god, bro. He was born in the Congo and like of the course. Earth. Big dick. And what would you Yo, say? Yo, <laughs> Yo. So he was based, they, they looked at him as like black Jesus, bro. Mm-hmm. So he was born in the Congo so in he the 1900s. Probably was dropping it off, bro. They probably they didn't know what to do with that. They was like, what, this? Yeah, it's meat. They probably had the biggest meat. <laughs> Yo. They had the biggest meat in the land, bro. They was like, they didn't know what to do with that. They probably was fucking all the bitches, bro. I hope not. Dropping it off, bro. They probably like, this nigga gotta be God, bro. I've never <laughs> seen something this big before. Yo, this nigga is sick, bro. What if he wasn't? What if he, was a little, he had a little meat? Nah, he's from the Congo. It's impossible. I know. There's superhumans over there, bro. I know. That's crazy work. Wait, isn't that what? 90%, baby. 19%? 19%, baby. That's tough. <sighs> That's tough. But so basically, they he was basically watch. <laughs> they ba- they basically looked at him as like black G's because he had superhuman abilities mm-hmm. supposedly. Like they said, he was able to heal people who were sick in the villages and stuff like that. But the one thing that people remembered him from is because like he could never die. Yeah, they said that he survived like multiple assassinations, and people seen him like regenerate, like how Wolverine and Deadpool do. They seen him like come back to life after like being chopped up. Like, there were stories of him getting killed, like, getting assassinated because he's trying to, he was trying to help the Congo regain independence from, I think, uh, Portugal. Yeah. So, they said that he was able to bring up an army of, like, they said angels, but to fight off against the Portuguese. And, of course, that might be just, like, you know, the people just saying it as, like, biblical terms, Mm -hmm. but it's still crazy to see, like, they were saying, like, he could never die. Like, he... They said they seen him get shot multiple times, and he would just come back to life either the next day or a couple hours later. They said, uh, like a lot of the elites were watching him because he was starting to bring up the people because they really looked at him as like like Jesus. Mm-hmm. And they said they kidnapped him and they chopped up his body and they put him on a plane and they dropped off his body at, all, at different parts of the world, and he still came back. Supposedly, mm-hmm. I don't know if this is true or Come not. Come on, no, it's not true. Bro. But you never, yo. They said that he got like he actually like regenerated and stuff, and then he said like he died. I think in the eighties or whatever. Mm-hmm. And how he died? Natural causes? I don't know. Maybe he just said he died and just mm-hmm. went away. 
And he said basically like people, there's more people like me that's gonna resurface themselves in the world like as the years go by. And then they never, then they, they said like his body is buried somewhere in like Angola. And like they say he's still like, he's not like fully dead yet. Which, okay. Now, hearing the story, it sounds wild. But at the same time, right? It's like there are people that can do like maybe like magical things and weird stuff. I think like the regenerating stuff, I think that's a little bit of a stretch. But there were, I was reading, there was a bunch of articles that like talked about it. And there's a lot of people that do believe it. It's more of the people that's like the, you know, like the black Israelites people, which, hey, Jesus may have been black, bro. May. He was he was black. I just say he was black. He was from Africa, right? From yeah. Oh yeah, Egypt is from Africa, but I don't know. He might not be from Egypt, but <laughs> no, yeah, no, I think he's from Israel. Yeah, he was from. He's from Israel. I think he was Jewish, mm-hmm. but freaking, I was just reading it. I was like, nah, imagine, right? There was because I do think there might be like I like I said before. I think there might be one person that's immortal in the world. Was that Jesus? I I mean, I don't know if it's Jesus or it's just somebody else, but imagine somebody is like, like I said, like he's been living for thousands of years, but he just changes his life every Mm -hmm. hundred. Like he'll just like, like he'll, he won't be with the same people for too long. Maybe he'll wait till his wife dies off and then he'll just leave, go start a new life. And then he's just like, you know. What about his grandkids and his kids? I mean, well, maybe. He don't have kids? Maybe he don't have kids. Or maybe he does have kids and they they might get a little bit of what he got. Maybe they live a little longer because they're half. Mm. But when he said, like, um, there's more people like me in the world that they're, that they're going to um, reveal themselves, I don't know why the first person I thought of was LeBron. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> about, about wrong? Yeah, bro. LeBron's why not? not immortal, bro. He's just fucking old and Bro, nice. think about it. He's almost forty years old, still doing the same thing when yeah, he's twenty. He's he don't age. Taking steroids, that's why. Nah, bro. he don't age, bro. He's the one of the black Israelites, bro. Nigga taking steroids, that's why. No, bro. LeBron is one he of the. He clearly ages. He looks old, bro. Nah, <laughs> he's LeBron is one of the black Israelites, bro. You see, he got he kind of looked like a little bit. Think he about it. Like a little bit. Yo, know I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, hey, bro, he's still doing the same thing at forty. He could, Bron could play till he's fifty at this. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, LeBron could play till about like fifty, max, fifty bro. max. I don't nah, forty five. I wouldn't max, want bro. like I don't think he would want to, but 45. like he can be a role player at fifty, bro. He, he can be a corner sitter. Nah, he can't shoot that good for a corner sitter. I mean, he can get to shoot that. He can be able to. He could play like. Not a Draymond. I think KG said that he could play a Draymond role for the next five years. What, just like pass the ball and like screen? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I think he shoot better than Draymond. He just shoot better than Draymond. But like, I mean, I guess like just pick and pop. I feel like if LeBron just don't dribble the ball as much, he'll be playing longer. Like he's not bringing the ball up and doing all that stuff. If he has somebody else, if he if they get like Trey Young or something, he'll be cool. He'll play another, he could play another four or five years, bro. He won't do that though. The pride, I get it, bro. I get it, I get it. But yeah, so there might might have been a real life Wolverine walking around the earth, bro. Yeah, I like the folk, bro. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? You think it's a lot of hoopla? I don't believe a nigga got his body chopped up and then came back to life. At that that point, I'm like, out, nigga, you're my god, bro. I'm saying, but like, what if, like, at the same time, it's like, what? It's like you can't. There's like multiple people saying like the story. Of course, they could be lying, or yeah, they could multiple, be stretching there's it. Multiple people that believe in book Bigfoot too. I still believe in it. Of course you, of course you do. Think about it. You, it's you know how hard it is to find like bear bones mm-hmm. in the woods. Think about it. There's fifty. Say there's fifty thousand bears in the woods, right? That's not that much, and it's hard to find they bones. Now imagine if there Why, was because because the Bigfoot's eating them. No, 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 no. I'm saying because there's so it's not. It's harder to find it because there's not a lot of bears. Mm-hmm. So it's harder to find their bones and stuff. But like, say Bigfoot, there's 500 of them. You're not going to find 500. You're not going to be able to find their bones if there's like little, very little of them in the woods, especially how big the woods I'm is. You're going to find one? But like, think about it though. That, like, you might find one, but it's like, it's going to be rare. And they could be like, oh, no, that's not no Bigfoot bone. That's just some other bone because they it's not common. You know what I mean? That's like, imagine if, right? Imagine humans lived in the woods. Imagine humans lived in the woods. There's 50,000 There's fifty thousand humans in the woods. It's more likely to find their bones or... Oh, actually, let's say, let's say there's a group of humans, right? There's... They're like... 
say like they're like monkeys. There's huh. <laughs> there's a hundred of them that live in the woods. A hundred that live in the woods of all of North America. All of North America. Well, there's only a hundred. You know how hard it's going to be to f- how hard it's gonna be to find even 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 a dead one? You know what I mean? A hundred. Like a hundred. That's like that's like putting like a a hundred like blocks of bricks in the woods, like scatter them around North America. Somebody's gonna find one, bro. Somebody's gonna find one, but the probability of them finding one is very low just because of how little there is. I see I hear you. Yeah. It's no Bigfoot. Bro. You don't think so? I would, I, would, I would love to believe that. I would love to see it like a Bigfoot. So what around. do you think these people are seeing? I don't know, bro. That's what I'm saying. What do you think? It's like, okay, at the same time, I've never seen Bigfoot. But I'm at the same time, it's like people are seeing something and it's the stories are lining up to a point where now people, there's like a whole people that believe in it because everything is like, it's not like the stories are like, oh, I seen a... A non-hairless Bigfoot, and then I seen a hairless uh, a uh, a hairless Bigfoot. It's like two different stories. Nah, I seen a big, tall monkey, crazy, big, <laughs> tall, hairy, a, a gigantopithecus. Yeah, well, that's what they say they're descendants of, of um, gigantopithecus, whatever. And yeah. they just like you never um, play Ark. I know it's okay. I, I know, I, I know my animals though. Like you never I'm not play Ark, bro. You never play Ark, bro. But I, I don't want to play Ark. I'm not like a Ark head like you, and I meet. 45 year old men on there and become their friends in real life <laughs> and call them by the gamer tag in real life and then by his real go bring them to the pizzeria <laughs> with their little kid i don't i don't, I don't and know go on real little life. arc dates and talk about how you guys just destroyed a velociraptor first of all there's no velociraptors in there it's just raptors that's the same thing no it's not what's the difference a raptor and a velociraptor. That's that's what a raptor is. That it's velociraptor raptor it's is short called, for velociraptor. It's just called raptor. No, but game. like a in rap- the game, it's called raptor. But it's the same thing. It's called raptor in the game. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> okay, okay. But that's what I'm saying. Bigfoot, right? Bigfoot. There's been so many accounts of people seeing it. I feel like there has to be something in there. There has to be something. I I wish I wish I would have seen it. I, I, wish, pre- I wish I could see it so I, I could be like, yo, I, I could wish be, I, so I could be the crazy one. Like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I've seen it with my eyes. I wish I could see it. I wish, was, I wish one day when I'm doing one of these Spartans and I see the nigga, I'm like, oh, shit. That, this is a Bigfoot that just ran past. I hope that's, that's the only time I'm going to Would you tell people or would you Nope, because I don't think I'm stupid, bro. I'm like, I this nigga crazy. I wouldn't think you're stupid. I believe you. You will believe me, but that's I mean, it. I'm just saying, I like, it's like the same thing with. Like aliens, nobody believed in aliens, but now when people put it on the news, bro, aliens was clearly real though. But like, how though? Because we think that we're the only living beings on this on this in this world, bro. Exactly. You think we're the only like? That's what I'm saying. Bigfoot. That's the same thing though. There could be anything living in the woods that we never discovered. You yeah. know how many species of animals we discover every day? Every day, I don't know. Or every year, we say. Probably, yeah. And imagine there's some that they don't tell us. But how about something we've been looking for forever? There's some that we don't look for. Like, there's, there was a bunch in, like, freaking Antarctica. They found a freaking uh, octopus in Antarctica that has, like, 18, like, tentacles, and they have feathers on it. I hear you, but we're not looking for that. We bring, we're, people are constantly looking for a Bigfoot. But there's not a lot. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, like, it's hard to find them. Think about think about walking through the woods. It's hard and impossible is two different things. It's impossible to find one. Because of the terrain, bro. Think about walking through the woods. It's not like there's millions of people that's like looking day in, day out. There's millions of people that believe, but there's not millions of people that's actually hunting Bigfoot down. I feel like if we were really hunting Bigfoot down, we would get one. Let's do it, bro. Let's start it, man. Bro, I want to do one. Yo, I'm that. I know the places. I've been watching Finding Bigfoot all my life, bro. I ain't going with you. Yeah, come on, bro. You want to go camping? Yeah, we're going to find something else, bro. I've been wanting to go camping, bro. Would you go camping? No no regulars camping? No regulars go camping. I want to. I got. I know some places we can go to. Yeah, bro. Let's go camping. Word? We got to sleep in there? I mean, duh. We got to sleep outside? I mean, I got. We can get them big tents. Big ass tents with like two rooms. There's tents that that, 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 um, fit like 10 people in it. I'm not gonna get no bugs on me, right? No, nah, no, nah, you good, oh, bro. Yeah. Get bugs. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the big bug lamp. If I get a bug on me, I'm going home, bro. Like nah, if I have good. sleeping and a spider crawl on me, I'm going home. Nah, we good, bro. I'm gonna make sure we are gonna get a big. We're gonna have the big. Uh, and we don't. And we thing. don't. And we don't fake our videos like Mr. Beast. Nah, we not. 
<laughs> this man throwing shots out. This man throwing Child, shots I like, out. I like Mr. Beast. I really don't give a fuck about his controversy. Do you? Well, the Chris, the Chris. I don't. I, I mean. I mean, what is, what is going on about it? I forgot. What so it, obviously they're saying that Chris uh, Tyson, you know, he's, of, he's gay, right? Well, he's a transgender. Yeah. Oh, no, that's the other one. I forgot. Uh, but you know, they're saying that they 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 found old video, uh, old messages of him texting a minor, like a 14, 13 year old boy when he was oh, like twenty two. Really? You didn't hear about that? No, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, he's can't, he's not even Mr. Beast. He's not in, in the Mr. Beast. Uh, oh, no so more. he's done. He's done. Yeah, he's done, bro. Oh. Because he was messaging minors at, at like, whatever, 21, 22. He was, like, messaging, like, 14-year-old boys and shit. Oh. And, like, being weird and shit. Oh, so that's, okay. But now they're trying, like, so now that the dirt is out, they're trying to say, oh, Mr. Beast uh, hosts illegal lotteries and he fakes his videos. and Oh, contestants. so now they're, now they're back. Like, but I'm not going to lie. If he does... I still don't give a fuck. I, I watch care. it for entertainment, bro. That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, you know when stuff is being faked on no, normal TV? That's what I'm saying. It's entertaining. That's all I day. give a fuck about, bro. But you went to a Wild and Out show and they told you to she laugh She told again. me to laugh, bro. This shit, everything's like, fake, bro. They don't really matter. And this shit wasn't funny. Sorry, T.I., if you're ever watching this, bro. Like, like Wild and Out. I fuck with you in your music. But that joke you said on Wild and Out and no one laughed and then the audience told you to say it again so we can laugh. That shit was trash, bro. It was it was the joke wasn't funny. I'm just being honest, man. But, but that, cool, you cool though. I fuck with you. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's okay. Like, of course, there's an there's an extent that you there's a line that you can't cross when you're making content of like faking stuff, mm -hmm. where it's like it's obvious that you're faking it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you're just making you're just trying too hard. But it's also okay to like you know put a little bit of like you know. A little bit of like you know fakeness in there just to make it seem cool, like just to mm -hmm. make it interesting. Because of course, like it's not everything's not gonna go your way. Yeah. Especially when you're trying to make it organic, it's not gonna go your way at times. So you also have to make it to where it looks like entertainable. Because sometimes you know how many times like AMP probably made videos where it probably looked, probably chips and they never posted because mm -hmm. it was just like they they try to make it like organic and they try to do like their person. They probably just wasn't feeling that day. They weren't being funny. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know what? We're not going to do it. We're going to scrap this. Do it another time. We're going to be more funny. Mm -hmm. You seen the AMP uh, freestyle cipher or whatever? I didn't see it. Well, they did a, they did a little, you know, the rap. Heart. Yeah. yeah. So they did that. And then Davis came out. He was singing. And they act, they was all like shocked. Like they was all pretending like they were shocked. But like, you act like y'all wasn't yeah, in the studio yeah, together. Yeah, niggas sing, bro. Yeah, like, you know, like y'all was in the studio together. So like, I feel like it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's to a certain extent, it might be cringe, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't be like, I don't want to watch that it. heard about that too, AMP? Yeah, with um, Kai and his mans. Yeah, the cameraman. Yeah. And he was texting young, young girls. See, now. All these, all these YouTubers, bro. See, bro, I'm telling you, Drake is coming up. I've been saying Drake. Nah, Drake ain't coming up. Yes, he is, bro. I'm telling you. I don't Drake. think he didn't. Drake not stupid, bro. I don't think he did nothing. I'm saying, okay. He, I like, and you know, like, like not I, to say this, because it doesn't sound crazy. A nigga, uh, the higher caliber of Drake, the amount of women that's thrown at him every day, he don't need to do that, bro. I know, but I'm saying he might have not known. He might have. It might have been like a Josh Giddy, bro. Well, that, I mean, that's that's not his fault. That's though. not his fault, but I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. saying that like it's his fault. I'm just saying that might have happened. I mean, if it did happen, I ain't, I, like, he thought she was 21. She was in the club, bro. I know. That is crazy. Why are you in the club with me, bro? Like, that's what I'm saying. Why are you in the club with me and you're not 21? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's not... I, like, if I bag somebody in the club where I, when I show my ID to get in... Exactly. I expect everybody in that motherfucker to be old of, enough that they... Of age. Yeah, that they showed the ID and the nigga said, this is valid. Come on. Exactly. Like, that, that's what I'm saying. I feel like now... But, like, what Kai's man did was kind of max. Like nah, he knew. You seen the? You seen the? You read the yeah, messages? Yeah, I thought that was fake, bro. Bro, that's too horny, bro. Yeah, you can't be that. horny. You won't even talk. You won't even. First of all, time out. You're not even supposed to talk like that to a female. You're trying to talk to your mm -hmm. own age. Like that's not how you. You're talk. not supposed to be talking like that to a girl. A girl in general. A girl, you fuck it, bro. Let's exactly. say you fuck a shorty, bro. Already. You won't even talk like that's that. That's too horny. That's bro. too like he had to pop a like a like a like a honey pack or something. I, I don't know what he. That was too horny, bro. Like it was just kept going. There's bro. no reason to ever be that horny but why bro. did it take her so long why did she bring it up now it's, it's right time bro right time <laughs> why, why, why people bring up bill cosby shit 40 years later uh that's true <laughs> right time bro. i was hearing um there was a uh, uh, sneaker was saying like kai he gets on my nerves sneaker <laughs> no you know i'm a bro he fried penguin the other day though he did yeah uh you moist critical you know what i'm talking about 
Uh, was he YouTuber? Yeah. What he for? Long hair. I probably know he's like the face, but I just didn't mm. know what his name was. They was having an argument, and he was like, "Well, let me not say he fried him because I don't agree with Sneeko. Yeah. But he was like, "Oh, so if it, so he was like, so it's okay. Why is it not okay for a fourteen year old to marry a grown ass man and get married? Like, or fuck a grown ass man and get ma- and marry a grown ass man?" And he was like, "Because she's fourteen, but she's young as hell." He said, "Okay." But you just said it was okay for a fourteen year old to be to, to transition to a to a uh, to a like a new uh, ginger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, Yeah, I think that's okay. So he said, So if it's okay for a fourteen year old to change their ginger change their ginger ch- gender I'm saying ginger. <laughs> gender and whatever, whatever, how come they can't they can make that adult choice to change their whole their gender? How come they can't make that adult choice to be with the older man? Yeah. And he I, he didn't fry him because he was right. He just fried him because he used his own logic against him. Yeah. So but that, that I don't is, agree with I don't with agree him. with that at all. Because at, at the same time, I feel like as a, as a young, you shouldn't be making that decision, any of those I don't, decisions I don't think you should, I don't at think, that I don't age. think you should be able to transition at, at, at no, 14, no, 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 15, no, 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 13. No. I think you need to be at least 18, 18 21 yeah. when you really, you, you're not First even. First of all, your body's developed. You haven't even gone through puberty yet. Yeah, or you didn't finish it. Oh, yeah. Or like, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, you don't even know. How it feels to be your gender yet? Yeah. So I, like, I think I think you should be at least eighteen before you can make make, make that, that decision. decision. Yeah. So like I like I, I, just, I don't I disagree with both. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. No. Nah, I don't. I don't. We don't condone none of that on this yeah, pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. Like with the with the Kai's thing, Sneaker was saying like the only reason why he had to fire him is because of the uh, media pressure. Because if he would have kept him. As his cameraman, absolutely, all, oh, yeah. he would have lost all the sponsors. Absolutely, but that's his best. That's one of his mans, though. But, it's but like, you did some weird shit, bro. I but gotta, like they, I gotta pack you. And they were saying though, if he never would have got caught, would he have have fired him? Probably not. Probably not. But like that's just how it is, though. But think about it, Mr. Beast and and Chris. How long they've been, he, they've been friends since they was kids, bro? So, Sandbox. Yeah, nigga, that shit came out. He got rid of that nigga, bro. I, I gotta fire you now. Bro, why is there so much of this like coming out so often? Like, what is happening? That's why, like, that's bro. That's why child like predators and stuff like that. Like, it's mm-hmm. really high in our country. There's something going on in our country. Because it's higher than any other country bro, in the world, bro. Porn, bro. Porn, like, it's really bad. I don't know what it is, but... Like, it's really bad. Like, this is why there's child trafficking, bro. Like, that's really bad. Like, because even the celebrities is doing this mm-hmm. weird stuff. Like, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know Vitaly? I heard the name. The the dude that be on kick, that be that be catching the predators. Oh, yeah, yeah. He is, act- he is a genius. I'm not gonna lie. He is an actual genius. Why you say that? Because he's doing what... Um, who was that child predator? Not the child predator. Chris guy. Hansen. He's doing what Chris Hansen did, but he's bringing celebrities with them. Uh huh. So he's bringing like, yo, he brought Akon yeah. with them to ch- catch a predator, and as oh. he was getting arrested, he was singing. <laughs> go up, up, yo. That happy. Is that th- the, is that the nigga that brought the? I think he brought the game on. Yes. And then, but they was like, they was like, uh, they was like, you brought the wrong nigga because the game uh was like. Indian love, India love, or whatever. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, talking about? yeah, yeah. In high school, like the game was like finger her, like was yeah. showing finger on her, like uh-huh. in public, and like he was a grown ass man. Yeah, yeah. In high school, <laughs> they was like, "Damn, you brought the wrong nigga, bro. You brought a predator, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That should be bad." They had, they brought, he brought Ryan Garcia, and he was about to box the nigga after he got a, caught. He was like, "Yo, okay, you got caught. Now you gotta get your ass whooped." That nigga's a crash out, bro. I like him though. I, yeah, he cool dude. I like him. He's he a be, crash. He out, believe bro. in Bigfoot. He believe. <laughs> He's a crash out there. Hey man, but I just I just feel as though the country is starting to get into a direction that I don't like. I feel like we're losing control. Like there's yeah. nobody there's no stability, especially with the president, bro. It's getting it's getting terrible. I, I don't even want to talk about that, bro. That nigga's hilarious. Hey man, it's just it's a laughing stock over here. I wanna let me let me let me switch the topics because I don't want I, I talked about the president last time. Did, didn't she Kamala Harris uh played not, uh they not like like us? Not yes. Like us. That's it's ridiculous, not, like, bro. Like what are we doing? This is a campaign, isn't it? Like for presidents. Why are we playing Kendrick, bro? What are we doing here, bro? But Corey, I got a game we could play. We're transitioning over we are I'm not talking. To anything. Yeah, we are staying who we are because we <laughs> love who we are. We're gonna play a game. It's called Choose the Best BET Film, Hood Classic Films, BET Films, Black Films. Corey, me and Corey are gonna talk about debate about it, and I got a, a list of movies. Okay. If which one, and you have to tell me which one's better. All right. All right. So the first one's up. 
I'll let you pick because I really didn't watch these movies as much. And it's going to be crazy when y'all hear these movies and y'all going to judge me. I don't mm, care. Look at this. Look at this. Boys movie. in the Hood versus Juice. Which one would you? Which one is better? Nah, you know you you that was that's biased, bro. You know I'm gonna choose Juice, bro. I'm going Juice, bro. You going Juice? I named I named my dog after after Tupac in that movie. Okay. I think Juice is the better movie too. To you be think honest. so? Yeah, I do think. That. You think you think Boys in the Hood overrated? I think it's a little overrated. You think it's it's, it's just, a great no 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 let me not say that overrated. It's a great film. It's a great film. Like it's it's a hook. It's a hood staple. Everybody should see it at least. Five times. <laughs> I think Juice is the better movie, though. I really like the movie. I Juice. never watched Boys in the Hood. All right. Anyway, go ahead. Next, next. I'm half black. Sorry, people. Yeah. I was born... I was in this... I'm a suburban kid. I'm a sub. What? What? How did Kodak say it? I'm a suburban boy. How does he say... Uh, I don't know what you're talking you, about. You don't know what you're talking about, the uh, beef? He was like with the white girls. He's like, I'm a suburban kid. Nah. That's <laughs> yeah. not like Kodak, though. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 didn't, I never watched that. But... All right, I got next one. This is actually biased for you. I hope you choose the right one. Damn. Love and basketball versus love don't cost a thing. Which one's better? <laughs> Come on, bro. Yep. You did that on purpose. I'm, I'm going to go, go love and basketball. Still. Oh, okay. Thank God. Even though I, you know I love it. I know movie. you do, bro. Love Don't Cost a Thing was a great movie. That was a good movie. I but, love movies like nothing, that. Nothing compares to Love and Basketball. Nah, bro. that was literally a classic. Like, love and Basketball, bro. Like that, that was, That's every nigga hoop dream, bro. Literally. Like, niggas seen that shit and they, they want to live that, bro. Literally. <laughs> they want to live that soon. They you Remember on Instagram 2014, they used to post like the pictures, be like, this uh-huh. trying, is how I'm trying to be with uh, whatever. Yeah, And bro. then, oh my God. What you talking about? Trying to be with like, my, my, my shirt to rebound for me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, if you was a hooper and you if you watched Love and Basketball, you know that was your dream. You knew bro. that was your dream, bro. But yeah, Love and Basketball. But you didn't want to get hurt and have to watch your wife in the NBA make like thirty five thousand dollars a year. <laughs> oh damn! Like, you, nah. you had to break it down like that, bro. <laughs> chill, chill, I'm playing. But nah, that was a great Love Don't Cost Thing was also a great movie. That bro. was a great movie. I, that, I, like, the, I, I like, like I like the underdog story. Me of it, too, bro. bro. I, I love like those the, movies. I could bro. see myself in the lame nigga at first. Of course, yeah. So, you see what I mean? So I, I like. And they feel me. You all know that lame nigga that want the bad bitch, bro. Like, feel me? Like, you can see, and he gets her. We just, always relate to that because that relates to a bunch of us, bro. Mm-hmm. Not all of us are the cool kids. We were never the cool kids, man. Look at who we, look what we talk about. Speak for yourself. Nah, you were you told you talked about another podcast. You wasn't. Nah, a cool I was kid. lame. I was definitely lame. Me too, bro. We like wrestling, and um, I was we was afraid of girls. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but all right, the next lineup. This one's really hard. Above the rim versus he got game. Choose wisely now. It seems easy. It, no, nah, it's really not easy. I like. I love both films. Yes, Above the Rim was a great movie, bro. He got game, bro. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. That was I really love. Good. I love. I love Above the Rim though. Tom Shepard, bro. My boy had his bowling 50. by yourself. Tom Shepard, shout out Scrap. He locked up. That's my boy. He locked up. Bro. Dang, bro. But yeah, he, he that was his bar. But anyway, yeah, my boy yeah. was he yeah. had forty in two minutes. I think it was first of all he was shooting by himself. He was with shooting, no ball, no ball bro. <laughs> nah, I got go. I said I go. He got game. He got game. You think it's more of the like it's, why he got game though? It's more the I don't know. I think I just I think probably I just seen it more. On TV. Seen? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did yeah, watch I just, that more. I just seen it more. I love above the rim now. Yeah, I like. I like the storyline of he got game a lot more. Me too. Yeah, like it's the. Yeah, I don't. I think. I think we were just. It was. Uh, he got game was just more like relatable to yeah. more people. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like above the rim, like he was, like. like I like he, the I like the gangster part, not the gangster. Like, like you feel me, like the hood part of it. Though. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like he, above the rim was like he was literally he got game, but like the hood version. Yeah, like more of the hood uh-huh. version, like. He was literally the same thing. He was a high recruit, but he was more of like the gang banging side. Yeah, Jesus, uh-huh. shot, Jesus wasn't. Just, he was just he just hooping. He was just hooping, and then his dad freaking murdered his mother mm-hmm. and stuff. But I I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you I'll take he got game also. All right, I got another one. Drumline versus Stomp the Yard. Mm. If you would have said you he got you got serve, but Stomp the Yard that that go that still going the same. Yeah. It's, I'm going drumline. Really? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, I think yeah. I'm taking Stomp the Yard, I like, bro. I like drumline. Stomp the Yard was hard, though. I'm not going to lie. I like, like, feel me? I can't dance, though, so I'm going to go drumline. Really? Bro, Stomp the Yard was... I, I was, nah, it was busting, bro. But uh, what, over, was, what was, who was who was the girl in it? Uh, oh, oh. Megan Good, right? Megan Good, yeah, yeah. Fire, bro. But really, when cause when they came out with the freaking the wolf uh-huh, cats on, yeah, it was going stupid. It was hard, bro. But still drumline? Drumline, bro. Damn. I feel like they had the same. They, that was like the same dynamic, but different. Like, mm-hmm. 
what's the word out not outcome different like how they did it is different yeah like they had like the they had two schools fighting like one was just music the other one was just dancing but i like i fuck with the dancing bro nah, i mean i like the dancing too bro but you but like the drumming more bro like drum I, I like not in my real life yeah like, yeah but just like yeah i like drum line. okay drum okay it was hard bro all right now i got another sports one we got two all-time classes we got remember the titans versus coach carter Coach Carter, easy. Okay, no, 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 don't, don't, no, 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 Bro, remember the Titans? He literally brought the black kids on and put them on and made them great. He did that for Coach Carter did too. No, they Coach Carter ass. went to the black kids. They was ass though before he got there. He huh? It was ass before. Yeah, he got ass there. black kids. The the freaking uh remember the times they brought the black kids to make them they were ass too. They was just white. He was a black coach. He made him like, yeah, we're not gonna have no separate black and white vans. We all gonna be in one bus. Ah, uh, you yeah, you trying you trying to feel to the I feel you, but I'm going with Coach Carter though. Like I like Coach Carter. Like I he of said, course. he shot, he shot him, bro. He was right there, man. <laughs> I want to be like on the team. So he gave, she shot Lenny. Like, Lenny. <laughs> what was his? No, I don't think it was Lenny. It was something. What was his name? I think it was Lenny. I don't know. I think you were close. It might have been Lenny, but I, I like. And then he dropped that long quote. I don't even. I feel me. We not, we not inadequate. I don't know what he said. Oh, yeah, 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 that yeah. That shit yeah. was hard, bro. You don't me. even know what he meant. You don't even know Nigga, what that means. I don't give a fuck. I know it was hard. You don't bro. know what that meant. I felt it, bro. He like, said, thank you, coach. Like, if I tell you, like, compre- like reading comprehension, what did this sentence mean? You if I to- read it, I could do it. All right, bet. Let me bring it up right now. Let me bring it right now. Right, I'm about to cook you right now. Let me poop first. You got to use the bathroom? Oh, my gosh. All right, people. We got We got a commercial break. We'll be right back because Corey has to use the bathroom. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S, all caps at checkout. We'll save you $20 on your first purchase with Seat Geek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to Seat Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get, we different than regular, regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. All right, people. We're back. Corey took a bathroom break, so. Yeah, but he, had, he got soft tissue in there. That's hey, your, yo. Hey, your, yo. What? Yeah. That, that your, was crazy. It, it felt good on my lower extremities. Hey, yo. All right. Well, now, at least I got 10 minutes to take out from this video. But now, I found the quote. So now I want you to interpret to interpret what it means to you. I so got you. the quote is our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. You missed a part. Wait, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. No, you missed a part. That's what it says right here. I know the first part. Our deepest I, fear is that we're not in, it's not that we're inadequate. Oh my gosh. And all right, it, all right, all right. Yeah, now finish it. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us. It's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Then he said all that. That's what I'm saying. He said all that. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was quicker. <laughs> I, I don't remember that. Maybe I just so said it. I, I yeah, it's easy, bro. So they little black kids from the hood that look. <laughs> why you laugh at that? They little black kids in the hood that really like they don't have no expectations and they don't amount to nothing. 
Mm-hmm. So their biggest fear is not they not that they're not inadequate, as in like the world always already see low as them. They already see that they have mm-hmm. they have already have low expectation of them. Their biggest fear that they could be more. Because now that they have if they can be more, if they have the potential to be more, then that puts more pressure on them to be great. Whether it's easier to be a bum or be a street dude or be in the hood or being gangs, it's easier to be that. It's easier to go that route because that's what is already expected. So it's easier to do that. When you're wow. expected to do something great and then you can't accomplish that, then that's that's where the fear of being what is what's the first part? Fear of being inadequate? No, the is it was that the one after oh, that. Oh, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond Bro, measure. Yeah, now that we can achieve this power, but if we fail, that's where the fear comes from. So instead of trying to be better or trying to do more Rather, and, and and failing, you rather just go the easier route where people expect you to do anyway. Because if you do that, if you fail, if you whatever, you feel me? That's what I expect you to do. If you do more, it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Wow. That's what the quote means. Stop playing with me. Yo, bro. you ain't crazy. Reading comprehension on a thousand. That's what I'm saying, bro. Reading comprehension on a thousand. Wow. All right. All right. I got one more movie though. 14, 1480 on my SAT. Stop playing with me. Did Six, you really? 690 on the, on, on the English part. Did you really get 1480? Mm hmm. Wow. Shout out to you, man. I got like 11 something. Yeah. 1180, I think. But last group of movies. We got Bad Boys, the Bad Boys franchise versus mm-hmm. the Big Mama House franchise. That's See, a, that's a, that don't seem that hard, but it really is kind of difficult. I would the third one was kind of cringe. What? Bad Boys? No. Big Mama's house? Big Mama's house. Is that the one with the... With, uh, the, with the sun yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of cringe, bro. I'm not going to All right, lie. let's do the first two. First two movies first each. First two? First two movies each. Bad Boys. Because mm. the first two Bad Boys was... The second Bad Boys... Was OD. Was OD, bro. Oh, my God. That was a great film. That was maybe... Might be top 10 films of all time. I'm not going to lie. Second Bad Boys is amazing. And that's why I give it the home. Mm-hmm, I give it that. Then the third, so let's say the third Bad Boys, way better than the third Big Mama House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first ones are kind of neck and neck. Yeah. Second, you see them, the yeah. distance. And then the third one, the, the big leap. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you think uh, Big Mama House better than the Medea movies? It's so many Medea Just the movies. family ones. Not the ones where they're like freaking like... Cheating I like wives. I like Big Mama House. I like Big Mama House too. I like. I feel like Medea movies. There's a lot. There's a, there's a lot of like you said. There's a lot of Medea movies, but I feel like that's what makes it kind of not as good because there's a lot of them. There's, there's too many of them. Yeah, like there's like there's like so many reunions. Yeah, like so I'll take um the last Medea movie I seen was last one I seen was the Halloween one. The Halloween. One. That was the last the one first Halloween one. Is that the one where the, the lady she was like. I can smoke weed. I got a medical patch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, that's, that's the, the first one. Yeah. I, I seen that in the movie theaters with, damn, what year was that? 2017? Yeah. 2017, 20, yeah, 2017, I think that was. I seen that in the movie theater with, I see, yeah, I seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, okay. But, all right, now I got a question to ask you, Corey. Now we're on the subject with mm-hmm. the black culture. What is a food that black people love that you don't like? We're getting real controversial here, people. I don't like collard greens. I don't like... Yo, dap me up, bro. Collard greens is so mid, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all like... Oh, my God. I don't, I don't know I what don't the like hype is. That junk is nasty. I don't like It's watery. Greens. It don't got... It's like... It tastes weird. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know why y'all like collard greens for. Like, y'all don't eat no other vegetable... When y'all see collard greens, like, yeah, I love collard greens yeah, with the know. ham hot. Like, what the I don't, hell? I don't know. And then some people put, like, the bacon in the, it. The bacon or to put their neck bones yeah, in I'm it. Yeah, I'm like, I don't nah. see what the hype is. I have like no, beans. like, they, they mix it with their mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, Libby. Oh, hold on. You like how, will you do that? Libby love collard greens. Libby, Libby more black than me. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like that collard nah, greens, though. I don't, I'm not. I'll, I, see, the thing is, though, I'll eat it. I wouldn't. But I'm not crazy about it. I, like, I don't it. like the hype, bro. Mm-hmm. Collard like, greens so you, overrated. Like if if my grandma made collard greens and threw it on my plate, I'll eat it. No, I wouldn't eat it. Mm. But not touching that. I, that if I my, made my own plate, collard greens would never touch. No, my plate. bro. If I get if somebody put if I got mac and cheese, cornbread, some fried chicken, maybe I I've never had yams before, so I'm not even gonna put yams on here. 
and they put collard, that ruined my plate because now the water the the water from the collard greens is getting all over. Nah, oh, bro, yeah. that's this is that's crazy. Especially if it gets into your fried chicken and make yeah. your fried chicken soggy, and then it gets into your mac and cheese. Now your mac and cheese got that greeny uh, vegetable yeah. taste. Nah, I'm gonna be mad, yeah, bro. I don't like collard greens. Collard greens so mid. Uh, grape soda. You know what? I used to really like grape soda, right? Yeah. And now my dad buys it, and I won't take a sip of it. Really? I hate grape soda. What kind? Now. Welch's? Welch's. Any grapes? My dad I don't buys, like. Like my dad. Like I used to. I used to be a grape soda guy. Yeah, yeah. Like grape soda used to be my shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when this shift happened, but like my dad buys grape soda now, and I swear to God, I won't even sniff it, bro. Maybe it's because you drink it a lot. And no. I don't. I just don't like it no more. Maybe. Bro. I, I, I like, that, like I'm not gonna lie. The other day I was so thirsty. In the house, and the only thing that was in the crib was water and grape soda, and I took a sip out of the grape soda, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm done." Bro, it's like, like I ain't gonna lie. When I was a kid, me and my dad, my dad used to take me to this hot dog place in Jersey City. It's called Boulevard Drinks, and they had this grape soda that was busting, mm-hmm. like they made it themselves. But I like that's the only one that I like. Everything else, like I would not go out my way to go buy like a grape Welch's. soda. That was a good. That was a good snipe. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go go out my way to get grape soda for real. Like I feel like like black people love like they'll just get like the Welch's or like the C and C grape. I'm like I would not get that. Like I would. Not, that's I not used my to. First. I used to. Nah, not even like nah. I'm, I'm off that now. That's crazy. Uh, pork and beans. You know I don't like beans. I don't like beans either. So yo, I so don't pork, like so beans. pork and beans is <laughs> like I'll I'll spend I'll spend half of the time going like this. With the beans, like I don't. That. I don't even. Oh, oh and oh. it's like watery too. Nah, I don't, I don't bro. Like beans, bro. I hate. Like if beans. I get rice and beans, like I'm not gonna lie. Like people make like people that know this make fun of me. I'll like let's say I'll get the I'll get it. You take the beans out? No, I'll take them out. But I'll scoop it up, and like you'll see me in my mouth switching around the beans. I swallowed. I don't. I swallow the. I don't chew the beans. I swallow the bean whole. Oh no no! I like Jay's mom. No, I don't like beans. So like mm-hmm. when she makes like like Spanish rice with the mm-hmm. beans in it, she'll take the beans out for me. Oh no, nah, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like when I go to Dario's, right? Sometimes they'll put like some black beans in there. I'll still eat it, like if there's only a little bit. Like if I don't, I don't, it. I don't chew it though. I, I won't. I would, I would really sit there and go like this. <laughs> you like gargle them in your mouth? Like I'm swallowing them and then I will start chewing. Hey yo, nah, I don't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. All right, uh, pumpkin pie. Nah, you, you lost me there. I like pumpkin pie. I don't. I ne- maybe because I never had pumpkin pie. Mm. I need to try it for. I like. Am I gonna lie? Like some, I might, I might get fried for this pumpkin pie. Taste. Whoa, what are you about to say? Pumpkin pie tastes just like sweet potato pie. Bro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What are you about I, to say? I thought you were gonna say pumpkin pie better than apple pie. No, no, no. I'm about to say pumpkin pie. If you like, I you might know the difference, but you might not know the difference. Bro. I feel like that. I, I feel like it's the same thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm if I, if I get a slice of pumpkin pie, and, like, and if it's two slices, I might not know, know which one is which. I feel like they just, I mean, they probably taste very similar, so I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm just, I never had pump. I, I probably had it one time, but, like, I'm just not, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I, I got maybe I got to try it again. Maybe my taste buds is upgraded since potato I was a kid. Potato salad. Potato I salad? I don't like potato salad. Me neither, bro. Like Yo, like, salad. these, oh, my God, potato salad. They bring that oh to every my black, god! Every black event, somebody got somebody got to make the potato salad. I would nah, make, I'm I would not, never eat that. It's shit, literally bro. potatoes, onions, and like mayo. Oh, I might like that now, low key. But like that just sounds yeah. gross. Only potato salad I ever like my neighbor Franklin. Shout out to Franklin. He makes this like purple, pinkish potato salad. But the shit is he fried. Haitian. No, he's Spanish. Oh, okay, because Haitian people. Oh, okay, because I know Haitian people make like Haitian. Oh, it's like it's not potatoes, beets. Beet salad. Oh, no, no, they make potato salad, and it's but the shit. I don't know how it ends up purple or, or pink. He might put beets in it. But that shit, that shit busts. I, like, I okay. like his potato salad. Okay, I I don't like potato salad. That was a good pull. That was a good pull. I like that one. Black eyed peas. I don't even know what that is, bro. It's like peas. It's like beans, basically. So I'm not mm. not touching that either. Grits. Ooh, wait. Black people love grits, bro. You don't like grits? I'm not a fan of grits. I ain't gonna lie. But do you, how do you make your grits? You gotta make your grits right, bro. I don't, my mom make my grits. You got you got you got to put sugar in it. You could put cheese, put some sausage, bacon in that thing, bro. I, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I was I was like you when I was a kid. I didn't like grits, and then I remember one time I was, I was um I was maybe like 12, 13, and my dad was making grits in the morning. I was like, let me try. I was mad hungry, and I had some that was bust. It was so good, bro. It was so crazy, bro. I like. I used to like my my. I forgot what this is called. Farina. I think it was called Farina. Was that the brand? 
I don't know. I don't know. I know my great grandma used to make that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. That shit used to bust down. Bro. <laughs> I think really? it's called Farina. Really? Or something like that. That shit was so good, bro. What was it? Was it like grits? It taste. It, it was almost like grits, but it wasn't grits, bro. Let me see. Or it might been like a oatmeal y type of thing. You said Farina. Farina, bro. That shit was so good, bro. Let me that see. That was bust down, bro. Oh, this. This yes, this kind of like. This look like grits. Oh yeah, it's basically like oh, it's like I think this is like grits for like like what uh, Spanish people use. I don't know, whatever that yo was so good. It's bro. like it's literally it's it's a it's a cream of wheat. That's what it is. Cream of wheat. I think that's what it, I think that what that is what it. That's literally what it say. is. Can you make me some cream of wheat? That sounds familiar. Yeah, bro. That that was buzzing. You make that every yo. I'll eat it. Every but what's time. the difference? I feel like it's the same thing. Nah, that was different. Bro. Really? That was different. Okay. Okay. How about uh, turkey wings? Turkey wings, turkey wings. Oh, like the big ones? Like fat turkey wings. I mean, my grandma makes like it like smothered turkey wings. I mean, like if it, if I if you give it to me, I'm gonna eat it. But I'm, I'm not, not asking it. for it. I don't want that. I look. You don't like gravy. Not like gravy. I mean, it depends. Like, like that 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 like turkey gravy. Nah, I'm not a fan, but I eat it. Yeah, I don't put in my mashed potatoes. I eat it. Damn, oh. I left something in the, in the microwave. From last night, <laughs> that just made me think about that. Well, what is what is it? Mashed potatoes with gravy <laughs> from, from Popeyes. I heated, I heated that shit up to eat, and I never finished. I never got it out the microwave. Damn, that joke is cooked. That yeah, joke is that's cooked. It's probably smelled crazy. Hey, bro, your dad probably threw that. There. Hopefully, threw Hopefully it out. Hopefully, threw it out. Hopefully, somebody used the microwave today. <laughs> threw it out. Another thing, chitlins. All right. First of all, I would, don't even. I would, I would never sniff that. I don't want to sniff it, bro. If you were making chitlins, that. I would leave the house, bro. That's that. That's a real southern like like you. That's if my like, grandma said, "Yo, I'm making chitlins today," I will <laughs> leave the crib. I'm I think my grandma made chitlins one time. My I grandma, never, my grandma, my, my grandma still eat chitlins sometimes. Sometimes I walk like, like yeah, nah, I'm <laughs> out of here. Bro. I already know what you're making. I'm out of. I never had it. I never. I'm will, not. Bro. I'll never try it. It's literally pork organs. Like no, it's the intestines. Yeah, the inte- shit. Yeah, nope. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. It smells like shit. That. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's the intestines. It's where the, the where the doodle is at? Nope. I'm mm. cool. I'm not eating yeah, no I'm, chitlins. I'm good. I'm cool off of also. Um, uh, it's not a black thing, but eggs. I don't like eggs. I know you told me you don't like eggs. Like I won't. I, I won't eat an egg. Really? Don't put an egg in my face. I won't eat it. So when you eat like breakfast sandwiches, I take that out. So you just eat bacon, bacon and cheese. If that's if if it's not a sauce, I get, I usually get sausages because you feel me. You could get. Sausage and cheese? Yeah, more meat with the sausage. Oh, okay. Like, double sausage meat? Oh, double sausage and cheese? Yeah. Okay. I'll do it, but if there's an egg on it, I'm like, nah, I'm good. I know I know people that don't know, like eggs, so I ain't really mad at that. But those are really those are really the black, like at least that I can remember, like black foods. Like people, let me know in the comments that some of the foods, if you're black, you know what I'm saying, uh, that a lot of the culture likes, but you don't really, aren't really fond I'm of it. I'm trying to think of something. I had something else in my head. Like, I'm trying it's to not. think. There's... Like that, those are the main ones. I was like, collard greens gotta be at the top. Though. Collard greens, yeah. It's just so nasty. Like it's just not as good as what people say it is. Like I'm like, people will really, like fiend for some collard greens. Like oh, I need me some greens. Nah, like never. hell no, I'm I, I don't never, need me I'm none of greens. I'm not fiending for no collard greens. I'm bro. cool off all that, bro. I'm cool. My off grandma that. do though. Like she love collard greens. My mom love collard greens. I'm not fiending for. Libby, Libby like I told you, Libby like collard greens. I'm, I'm no, that's not. You be fiending for collard greens or like you just like it. She's like it, like she feed for it. She lying. Like she'll like she go to my nana's house. My nana always cooks every Sunday, so she'll get like mac and cheese, chicken, and collard greens. My I used I tried it. I I've been I used to try to eat it. It just wasn't for me, bro. As a grandma throw it on the plate, I feel I'll like, eat it. I feel like I'm eating wet leaves, bro. <laughs> I feel like wet leaves, bro. Like, I feel like wet uh, pine leaves. Like oh stuffing. Ooh, I hate. I was stuffing. really about to say it, bro. You really, yo, you really twin for it. I was really about I to hate say stuffing, stuffing bro. Stuffing is that's nasty the worst thing ever, bro. What is that? <laughs> that's what I'm saying, yo. That what is, is stuffing, disgusting, bro? bro? Nah, stuffing is that's I think it's like bread and like was just breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs and like and like gravy and like I don't know what it is. It's like it's like mushy bread. Like I'm like nah, stuffing. Nah, that's a great one. That is I a great stuffing, that is bro. a great pull right there. Cause stuffing is so nasty, bro. I don't like. I've never eaten stuffing. Me neither. It just looks gross. It just looks like chopped up bread and like you pour like a little bit of gravy in, it and then you put that like thing, chip, that makes turkey. it look worse, bro. Oh, yeah. I hate stuffing. Nope, that was a great one, bro. That was a great one. You have any more before we play the game? 
Yeah, I'm done. I think I got no more. All right, so I got a game we could play now since we was talking about eats. It's called Keep Three, Cut Three, Eats. You would eat if it was your last meal on death row, okay. but it's a blind ranking. So I, I got... So I don't know which three is coming. You don't know which there's six on six on here. You don't uh-huh. know what is next. Okay. So I'm gonna give you the first one. You gotta tell me you're gonna keep it or cut it. Set up for this. All right. So I need you to be tactical. All right. All right. So the first one up, we got Domino's Black Box Pizza. What's in that? The the deep dish pizza from Domino's. I don't think I ever had that. Are you serious? All right. Let's say Domino's Pizza. Nah, we're gonna keep the Black Box Pizza. I'm gonna keep it though because it's pizza. You gonna keep it? All right. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, keep some it. Pizza. All right, next one. A bre- death row. We're next one, a breakfast platter. So I'm talking about pancakes, eggs, sausage. Yeah, come, cut, cut. You cutting that? Yeah. With yeah. the egg? Hey, eat, yo. I told you I don't like eggs. But like, you can still get, you don't got to eat the eggs. I won't eat breakfast, bro. Wow. Breakfast is like one cut. of the best meals of the day. Cut that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Your Chinese takeout order. Your go-to. Let me get that. What's your Chinese takeout that. order? I get I get a lot low key though. What's your main fat. like if you <laughs> chicken uh chicken chicken fried rice with, with four chicken wings with uh with a shrimp roll and chicken and broccoli. Mm. I tell you I'm fat, I get a lot. So that's it's okay, okay. Keep that, keep that. All right. Next is so, celery. Celery? Yeah. I'm gonna cut it, bruh. Okay. <laughs> you you're gonna you you're gonna fry me with the last one though. S'mores. I'd rather keep the celery, bro. Fuck it. I'm going to get a dessert. I'm on death row. Let me keep the s'mores. Keep the s'mores? Okay, okay. Keep the s'mores. And your last thing that you cut. Wait. I thought I was. Oh. Keep three, cut three. That was three. That was six. No, that was five. Oh, shit. What's so the last one is rice. Any type of rice. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I cut the s'mores. I didn't know. I thought it was on my last one. Nah. I would have cut the s'mores if I knew I had one more. Damn it, bro. I like rice. You know I love rice, bro. <laughs> You're really Asian, bro. S'mores. You got a good lineup, though. You got black box pizzas, some Chinese takeout, and some s'mores. I want some rice, bro. Bro, you got rice with this ch- this, the nah, chicken fried rice? more rice, bro. Can yo. Have more rice, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. That, yo, s'mores, the greatest dessert ever created, bro. I'm not going to never have s'mores before. Are you serious? Yeah. Yo, bro. I'll make... Damn. I, we don't got no... I would have made you a s'mores, bro. I never had s'mores before. I'm, yo, you're missing out. That is the greatest... S'mores is the greatest dessert ever created by mankind. It's really that good. That junk is busting, bro. I've never had a s'more. It's so I can eat if I was if I don't feel like doo doo afterwards, but I can eat like four, <laughs> bro. If I don't feel like doo doo after, I literally eat like four, bro. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm mad that you never had a s'mores before, bro. That's crazy yeah, I've work. Never had a s'more. But all right, last thing before we end the podcast, we got another game that we're gonna play, people. It's called so there's a there's a sixteen there's a hundred one. There's a 1,650-pound grizzly bear trying to kill you. Mm-hmm. You have $1,000 to build the defense against them. Okay. So for $50, for $50 is, a, is for a honey badger, $100 for a wolf, $200 for a hyena, $300 for a jaguar, $500 for a lion, $750 for a tiger, and $1,000 for a polar bear. So or, how much money I got? $1,000 to spend to build the defense. And I got... So I could choose. So if I pick, so you said how, how many? What's the wolves? Uh, a hundred. So you can pick ten wolves. Okay. Mhm. And then what's the what's the what's what's the other options? Uh, you got hyena for two hundred, yeah, a I jaguar for three hundred. I don't want a jaguar. A lion for five hundred, a tiger for seven fifty, and then a polar bear for a thousand, and then a honey badger for fifty. And I'm going as a grizzly bear. A sick. Uh, a thousand and six. One thousand six hundred and five. 1,650 pound grizzly bear. So a 1,600 pound grizzly bear. I think my, uh, uh, first of all, I think, and how much money I got? I only got 1,000. You got 1,000, yeah. And how much is the, the polar bear? 1K. So, my God, a polar bear might beat that nigga. You think so? Just one polar bear? I think one polar bear, one polar bear, polar bear, <laughs> one polar bear versus uh, a grizzly bear. I, thought, I, might, I might take that, but that's boring. So I'm not going to take that. Uh-huh. I'm going to take, uh, you said, I'm gonna take, take ten wolves. You gonna take ten wolves? That's a good pick, though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm That's wolves. great teamwork right there. I'm taking ten wolves. Okay, bro. what I'm gonna pick? I'm gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick five wolves and a lion. That's my. That might be good too. Cause I got. I need leadership for the pack. Yeah. I got the pack that's going, and I got the line to finish them off, bro. 
Because I got you got to think about it. That's a, a big ass big, bear. A wolf is big as shit. Bro. I know a wolf is huge. Ten bro. of them. Yeah, I'm taking ten. ten. Of, I ain't gonna lie. Ten of them, you cool them, bro. I'm taking ten. Wolves, Easy, bro. you 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 shrimp the numbers, bro. I'm Easy, he's done, wolves, bro. Bro, imagine ten wolves, bro. Like just standing in front you know of what I'm you. I'm saying, imagine you imagine we walk outside. And I go to my car right now, and there's ten wolves in front of me. You, you cook. I'm walking back inside. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. Ten wolves is like equivalent to like raptors. I feel like wolves are equivalent to like raptors back in the days. Nah, As in, like they're in like pack, like like how they kill. I feel like, yo, you know, I heard First you said pack. How they? Yeah, I'm give me the ten wolves. That's, that's a great. Easy, nah, bro. that's a that's a easy. That's a. I feel like ten wolves knocking them down easy because yeah. wolves be like, like what, like one seventy maybe, mm-hmm. like average. Like give me be, ten bishops. Nah, bishop done. Yo, you are gonna stop saying that? Bro. I'm. <laughs> what's the biggest wolf? Is it like the gray wolf? Isn't a or or not? Timber, it is a gray wolf. I think timber wolves are kind of smaller. Yeah, I think, I think it's a gray wolf. The gray wolf, them things is huge. You ever, uh, you know, they have a wolf or sanctuary. Or a dire wolf, or that, that's not real. Right? Those are extinct. Oh, those are extinct. Those are extinct. But, okay. dude, did you see that one video of that that big ass wolf that uh, somebody found? No. Nah. Bro, there was a freaking video, bro, of a wolf. Like, so there was a guy, right, and he was in the woods, and his dog was barking at something in the uh-huh. in the tree line, and it was a wolf. So the guy's like, "Yo, get out of here, get out of here." He was recording it. The wolf stood up, bro. He was big as shit. Bro, it looked like a horse on everything I love, bro. Yeah, let me and get was, 10 wolves, bro. I'm good, bro. You good? All right, bet, bet. That's I'm cool. I'm good, but I was. I just want to point out, I think one I think one polar bear would have, would have, would have held me down, too. I th- but, like, depending, how big is the polar bear? 13 feet. Okay, how heavy, though? Well, I don't know. If it's that ration, grizzly bear is rationing it out, bro. That grizzly bear on crack, like cracked out, trying to kill you. He's, he's killing. It's <laughs> killing anything in front of him, trying to get to you. Not, not a cult, not a polar bear, bro. Now polar bears is the. It says if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lay down. If it's white, if it's white, say good night. I know, yeah, you cook. I cook polar you cook, bear, bro. but I'm taking my ten, taking my ten wolves. Nah, bro. ten wolves is cool, bro. Like, yo, I have a, st- I, I got a story actually about like I see something about wolves, bro. Freaking, I remember I was reading something the other day that they said Germany supposed there was a legend and like during World War One where Germany created like a super wolf uh-huh. to kill off like to hunt the British soldiers. Yeah. So there was like a legend that was going. On. I, allegedly, this is not true, but there's like some evidence behind it. There was a there was a like during World War One that was when Germany was fighting the British and stuff mm-hmm. and like you know the trench warfares. Yeah. So. In the early days, like that was the first war where they started like experimenting on new weapons. So they used like that's where the machine guns came in, and that's where they started using like the bio like bombs and stuff. Not bombs, but like grenades, like smoke grenades and like mm-hmm. the little gas grenades and stuff. But they try they were trying to figure out more bio weapons to like gain an edge in the war. So supposedly, uh, the Germans found a, a scientist that was able to heighten a, a heighten the aggression of a wolf. To mm-hmm. a point where it can hunt down like enemy soldiers. Yeah, I don't know what it, they did to it, but it was a a big ass wolf, and it was able to like like heighten his intelligence to know what to kill, and heighten the aggression to kill it fast. Mm-hmm. So they let it out into the war, and they said the soldiers were that getting shit. picked off in the woods one by one. That shit probably was crazy. If it was real, that shit probably was bro, crazy. That bro, that yo, I heard like supposedly it was like like not even eating them, just kill like. Biting their throats out, uh-huh. like leaving them all the dead, but it was supposedly a legend. But then, but there was a, but there's evidence back in like during the war that they had to call a ceasefire during the war because there was a bunch of wolves or a wolf that was killing like both parties of like the soldiers. Yeah. Like they had to stop the war. Like yo, we had to stop the war. We got to go into the woods and kill these wolves uh-huh. or this one wolf. So maybe there might have been one wolf that really was out here murking. He's murking niggas. And he might have been murking the Germans too, because he might uh-huh. not know the difference. Yeah. But like imagine though, that's some cheese, bro. I'm not gonna I'm yeah, not gonna that's lie. Crazy. Once we get to war and we start using like animals to our advantage, mm-hmm. like that's some cheese, bro. Like I heard they were trying to put like freaking uh guns on dolphins at one point. Yeah, that's that's too much though. Like come that's on. OD. Oh, that's OD. That's OD. <laughs> they bro, they I heard they tried to like they did that. Like they actually like taught dolphins how to, like shoot. They put guns on their backs, but uh-huh. they got they they uh they like got they like escaped. Uh-huh. So they're, they're, there's like uh supposedly dolphins like guns on their backs going through the ocean. They uh-huh. probably dead now, but they do that with a lot of animals. You remember they? I think the CIA CIA tried to use cats as like surveillance cameras. Yeah, I heard of that. You already know that, but you already know about the uh, the pigeons. Yeah, with the pigeons. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. 
You believe no, me now? No, no, no. I've been believed you, but I don't think it's pigeons. I think it's like though you know, have you ever seen those birds, them small ass birds that fly in packs? Spar- and they sparrows? I don't know if they're sparrows, but like mm-hmm. they fly like you'll see like hundreds of them. And it's like they fly like remote controls. Like if if one if one goes left, they all go and left. Mm. I don't know if you've seen them before. You know what I'm talking about? I don't think so. It's, you see, you definitely have. You go into a park. There's literally a bunch of birds. Like say they're in one tree, and if mm. one bird flies to another tree, they all fly to another tree. I think those are sparrows. Those are sparrows. Okay, the sparrows. But like, tell me that's not crazy. Like, how do they know where to go? And they all have a, the different minds. It's literally they look like they're they're flying like synchronized flying. Don't get me started, bro. I, I think all birds is fake now, bro. You think so? Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never seen a pigeon bleed, bro. You never did, and you never will. Cause they watching, bro. Mm-hmm. They outside our window listening right to this now. right now, I bro. See him. I see his head right there. It's tough, bro. It's tough. But I don't know, bro. Like when I seen that, like I was telling Jay, like we was on the highway. They was just flying above, and they were literally flying in the same direction. Like, like they were zigzag back and forth. And I'm mm-hmm. like, that doesn't look like it. It's of course natural, but it don't look natural. Yeah. Because if you're a bird, you have your mind of your own. You don't know where this but, bird is going. I want to fly next to that nigga. Exactly. Bro. Like say, say me and you are birds, right? We both have mind of our own. I'm not. I don't know what direction you're going. Mm-hmm. But like, if we're all synced up together, I know you're gonna bust this right. We're all yeah. gonna bust that right. And it just looks so weird. And I don't know, bro. It gives me it gives me weird vibes, bro. It gives me weird vibes, but. You got anything else we want to talk about, bro, before we end the pod? Nah, I don't got nothing today. Yeah, man. we It's going on 2 o'clock. This man, Corey, almost killed the cat. I didn't almost kill anything. He bro. saved the cat. He I, saved the cat. <laughs> I called, I called the, the cavalry in to help this nigga. Yeah, because the cat was croaking. <laughs> but before we end the podcast, I almost forgot. Shout out to everybody on our Patreon. Subscribe to our Patreon. Ah, I thought it was over. <laughs> Shout out to our Patreon down below. If you're not subscribed already, we got free channels. We got three dollar tier, five dollar tier, and the big bonus ten dollar tier. So I'm gonna shout out everybody on our Patreon real quick. Let me pull it up. So shout out to all our free subscribers. We got Jalen Strong, Javarion Jackson. Mm. Where are you from, brother? Black ass. Where you think he from? I say Atlanta. Florida. Oh, good one. That's a good pull. This one, I think you just went and just typed random letters. His name is Hahab Suju. Besuj oh, Sidi. Mm, nice, I think bro. you just wanted me to do that just so you're trying to cook me, okay? Um, I heart big booty freaks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to you, nice. bro. I like them too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Farmington Fleming. You're definitely white. You you you, you sound like you're 45. Farmington Fleming. You sound like a 45 year old man from Pennsylvania that likes them on the younger side. If you know oh, what I mean. Okay. Don't watch us if you They're are. They're not like us. They're, They're not, not like, like us. us. <laughs> um, O'Shea, Drew, Jaquavion. Jaquavion, where are you from also? I know you're from Atlanta. Yeah, it, Jaquavion's uh, from Atlanta. Jesse Rodriguez, Kev, Rob Quash, Cal, Nuh, DeShield, Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Willis, Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram, my boy from Harlem, uh, Tyrone Bones, Corey Petty, King Fry. We got our second round steals. We got DJ Khalid, Muhammad, and Tamia. And we got our first round lottery picks. We got somebody that upgraded to the $10, $10 oh, tier, they, bro. They, they bought more? They they, can't, they they spending more money on us, bro. We got Fuck Leland that. Poole. Shout out to you, my brother. I, I think he DM'd me on uh, Instagram because I said his name wrong. Shout out to you, my brother. Thank you for subscribing to the $10 tier. And my boy, Tavon Cox. Pause. <laughs> hey, yo. We have a special $10 tier episode dropping probably today. If you're new, so stay tuned to that. Subscribe to the $10 tier. We got a mukbang coming for y'all this Sunday. And yeah, you got any last words, Corey, before we end the podcast? Gangsta. We different than regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.